hey hey my pretty ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel if you know how i'm i'm silky now if you do thanks for returning don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so anytime i do new upload you'll be the first person to know now you guys seeing that title and that thumbnail while we here yes we are here with some more nars products it's been a while since we did some nars okay it has been a while okay i'm here with the new nars soft matte yes soft matte advanced um perfecting powder foundation you guys i've been having her sit here in the sephora bag on my vanity for a minute and i'm so happy that i got to it i also did go in with some more nars products i didn't actually do um step by step video this time i just went straight into the product and put it on my face let you see how it is went off camera came back to show you the final look and gave my final thoughts so if you guys want to know what it looks like while putting it on and you want to know my final thoughts and you know how it look on my skin tone on my skin type and how we're going to your girl silky and you just want to be here with your girl stay tuned keep on watching get straight into this video hey my pretties long time no see you guys i have been so busy so 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 busy i do apologize this video should have been up a while ago but hey better late than never okay so let's just go ahead and get straight into this video we are here yes i've been having it since she came out yeah she's been sitting on my desk in the support bag he's gonna be mad at me he's gonna be mad at me okay all right you guys so this is the nars smooth matte advanced perfecting primer it is 0 0.31 ounces it has a shelf life of 24 months, which is 24 months for me is amazing. You guys like most products are 12 months, six months, three months, 24 months. That's a good amount of time. <laughs> Instructions, dip brush into powder, tap off excessive, apply to the face using a circular motion, starting in the center of the face and working outwards until blended. I did get mine in the shade Seafront. But let's go ahead and pull up the claims on this product to see what it's supposed to give and what it's supposed to do, okay? It claims to be a multi-purpose skin perfecting powder that blurs imperfections and smooths the look of skin. So this product does come in eight shades. I feel like they need to expand the shade range, but hey, it is what it is. And then their actual foundation, I believe it comes in, let me check, hold on. And then their actual liquid foundation in the same, the same brand, it comes in 36 shades, I believe. So yeah, you guys can also try that out. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get straight into it. I don't want to talk too much, so I'm going to go ahead and moisturize you guys. Alright, so now that we're zoomed in a bit, I'm going to go ahead and use my palms. This one is the um, color, <laughs> perfect color complexion. I like the way it feels on the skin, it's not too heavy. It's just like perfect for me because I do get oily throughout the day. And this keeps me from getting oily, honestly. I don't get super oily with this product. So I love it. Okay. Not too much my forehead. I don't have to worry about that. By the way, you guys, I do have on contacts today. It's just for Kiara contacts, you guys. Please, please, please go ahead and check her out. I do get a discount code of 20% off. My discount code is pretty silk. Please go check it out. This is in gray. Let me check. Let me be sure. So this one right here is in the shade um, Gem Gray. Very beautiful, you guys. Very wearable. Very comfortable. You guys have to let them soak for a few hours before using them. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back into this video. So for primer today, I'm going to go on with these two today. So this is the e.l.f. Grip Primer. This one is with the niacinamide. <laughs> and then I have my Lancome here. Mm -hmm this one is like a pore filler so we're gonna go ahead and use the both of them so i'm gonna use this one in the center of my face so i can get any pores filled in that needs to be filled this one feels very oily but it's not oily it's a really good let me take this scarf off so this one doesn't it feels like an oil but it fills in your pores very nicely and it doesn't give you it doesn't leave any oil residue behind i really love it it's a little pricey but she works okay now let's go ahead and go on with this one on the perimeter of the face 
y'all i've been so busy like just my life has been so 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 busy and have you guys been seeing those videos where they put this in their hand and then they let it dry and then they go to pick what i didn't believe it like shut up it really does grip like but i knew it gripped to your face and gripped the makeup but i didn't think it would grip items but they're going pretty far with it you guys it's so it's so funny to me i think it's a little funny but hey if it gives you upsells and it sells your products by all means please do it right as long as you're telling the truth that's all that matters all right so that one like i said grips your face very well or grips to the face very well which means that any product that you put on the face it will grip it okay all right so again i got seafront that's the shade i did get so let's go ahead and open her up for the first time and i think i did a shade match in the store i did do a shade match in the store this is what she's looking like you guys really cute Ooh, i like it so this is what it looks like close up it's really really thin like really thin you guys like almost like a pencil like really thin product or compact which is nice you can carry it around let's see if she's nail friendly yep she's she's pretty nail friendly i can get with it i can get with it it does come with a mirror you guys the shade looks very very light on camera but it's not that light you guys so we're gonna go ahead and try her out let's go it said a brush so let's go ahead and get a brush i just want to go ahead and take this juvia's place brush right here you guys it's nice and fluffy we want something that's kind of fluffy mm -hmm. maybe but before we do that let's go ahead and swatch in her and see what happens like look at that can you guys see that let's swatch it on the back of my hand like it matches me so great you can't even see it you can't even you can't even see the color let's do it again let's try it again let's go one more time you can't even see it that's how good it works it's blended into the skin love that because you can't really get that with powders i tried the juvia's place powder i like i like the way it makes the face look but their colors there's something wrong with the colors i hope they fix the colors so i can actually rebuy it and love it if that makes any sense so on this side i'm going to use a brush and on this side i'm thinking i'm going to use like a um uh a sponge type of thing all right you guys so i do have like this sponge that come in the back of one of my you know and one of my powers and then i have this brush i want to do the brush on this side and then the powder on this side but before i do that i do want to go in and correct these blemishes because they're really really dark and i think the powder is not going to cover them up so i'm going to go in i'm just going to use my little tiny nars concealers i have the shade medium dark and then medium one that's going to be i'm not going to use medium one but we're going to use medium dark and this is nars we're just going to put a little bit on these imperfections right and around my mouth here and i'm also going to take this right under the eyes to get any dark spots that don't need to be there that's what we're going to do okay and then I'm going to take medium one, which is the lighter shade, and I'm going to put a dot, just a bit, in right in with it, to really lighten up under here, and put a little here, and on the chin, and maybe a little bit on the nose, just a little bit. We're not doing a whole lot, you guys. And I'm going to take this brush right here, I'm just going to start blending everything into the face. And remember the NARS, it's kind of hard to move around a bit. So now what we're doing basically right now is underpainting. And we're just gonna start to blend this out. Okay. I know the shade's a little bright for me, but it should do what it needs to do, which is lighten up those areas that look precocious. Ah. Remember it's underpainting, so so are you guys ready for easter do you have your easter baskets have you made them have you bought them have you got your decorations things like that so quiet 
So let's go ahead and do this side with the little sponge. I'm going to just rub it into, into there. Oh my gosh, it picks up so much product. And I'm gonna just start blotting it on my face on this side. Just blot, blot, blot. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of dark. Um, feels like it's kind of dark, you guys. For sure gives coverage, but she's kind of dark. I'm just gonna keep going. Let's just keep going. <laughs> uh, keep going. Get this whole side. I'm not really one for using these little sponge things, but I know a lot of people like to use them, so I have to start incorporating what you guys love too, and not just what I like. I learned that it doesn't look bad. Little dark, but it doesn't look bad. I don't know if I'm getting patchiness or it's like it's skipping or something. I feel like like I need to get in between. It's not okay. Let's try it. And put it. It is very buildable, very very buildable. Mhm. Mm okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. Very 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 buildable, you guys. Very buildable product, which is nice, and it sticks to this primer this primer is amazing like it's so sticky like I can feel how sticky it is to where you have to keep building up so it don't be so sticky and I also kind of love a powder because you can go over your brows even with the powder and then go back in and then kind of line your um, eyes again so that's really nice too. So yeah, that's that side. It's not super perfected. Cause I'm not, like I said, I'm not one to use a sponge, but that's with that side, that's with the sponge. I didn't get close around the eye. I didn't, you know, I didn't get close to here. I just wanted you guys to see the coverage and you can clearly see the coverage. Now let's go ahead and go in with the brush, which I think I like, like better. Cause I'm, I'm a brush girl. I'm I am a brush girl, 100% a brush girl. So, period. So let's go ahead and take this brush. All right. So it says to swirl it in there like so, and just start to pat onto the face in circular. It says circular motions, but I'm not really one for putting powders on in a circular motion. But I'm gonna try it. All right. Let's try this circular motion thing. Swirl it in. Swirl it on your face. Okay. It's giving coverage where needed. I guess the swirly thing is working. Well, I need to pat my face first because I have this primer on. So I like to pat. I'm just not gonna even front. I'm a pat, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna pat it. So it comes out better with the brush, which it did say to use a brush. So understandable, got it. It's not really covering my imperfections. Um. Which I kind of figured it wasn't going to. But yeah, I like the brush way better. But it kind of comes out the same. And like I said, I think the shade is a little bit too dark for myself. It's a little dark. A little, little dark. So it is buildable. You can build it up. But I feel like don't build up so much powder. It makes you look... Alright you guys, let me just show you a close up. Alright, so this is what it's looking like on the powder side. I mean, on the brush side, gives coverage. Love it. And this is what it's looking like on the puff side. I don't know if I like the puff side better. I don't know. I don't know. But it does give coverage. I say go a smidget lighter on it. You don't want to go in with the actual color because my color in the actual foundation is Bleem. I believe that's what it's called. So this one is MD. 3.6 so I felt like they match like they look like they're the same color but they're not the same color and cameras giving this like making it lighter which is really the same color as this so yeah I want to go ahead and go off camera and finish up the rest of my makeup and come back you guys my final look and final thoughts all right my pretties I am back this is what it looks like after it's finished I did put cream on top of this powder which works out very well because sometimes when you put creams on top of powders, they don't really work well. I think it worked really well. I think the product looks like I got something in my nose. Y'all look at this powder. 
I think it works really, hold on. I think it worked out really, really good. It came out so pretty. Um, I did go in with more NARS products, you guys. NARS blush, um, NARS um, contour, um, also, oh my God, highlighter. I didn't put on any, I put on a NARS highlighter. It's like a blushy type of highlighter. It's like a two-in-one type of thing. So it has the shimmer and I didn't have to actually go in with the highlighter. I also have my Beast by Deb lashes in the style Daily Dose. They're really, really long, but thin enough to where it's not too much. It's like just perfect. So I did go in with that. Then I went in with my lips. I just used uh, a ColourPop BFF pencil and any type of lip gloss. I just went in with the lip, the lip gloss that's already on my lips, you guys. But yeah, I think it came out really pretty. I do love the finish. I think it came out really nice. You can actually see it on the skin it did kind of blur the skin a bit but not as much as i would like um i think it's pretty it's not a bad foundation you guys but do go down one shade so it can match your skin tone and your skin type and look good on your skin so i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you do try out this nars foundation Tag your girl. Show me what it looks like on your skin because I showed you what it looks like on mine. I love my pretties. And until next time, I love you. Bye.